Today, I'm gonna to show you how to enable a secure boot with Windows 11. Let's jump in. First, I'm gonna show you how to check to see if your secure boot is enabled. And so all we wanna do is head over to the search bar here and start typing in system information. And you can see it pop up there. Scroll up, click on that. And once this pops up, you just wanna look through this list here and see where it says secure boot. And you can see that mine's currently on, but if yours says off, then I'm gonna show you how to change that. So we're just gonna close that out for now. And then we wanna go into our settings. So we're gonna click on this, go to the settings, or you can search for it in the search bar. And then when your settings pop up on the left-hand side, scroll down to where it says Windows Update. First, make sure that this says that you're up to date. And if not, then you can update that. And then you wanna go down through here to go where it says Advanced Options, click on that. And then you wanna scroll down and select Recovery. And then when you go to the bottom, you wanna see where it says Advanced Startup and you wanna to go to Restart Now. And it's saying that your computer is now going to restart, so you wanna save all your work. So I'm gonna stop my screen recording and I'm gonna switch over to my other camera recording here. Okay, and then what you wanna do is you wanna click on Restart Now. Now this portion will vary a little bit for you depending on which type of motherboard or computer system that you have. In my case, I have an MSI, so if you also have an MSI, it will look very similar but the steps are gonna be the same, it's just where you find them might be a little bit different. Okay, and you'll see this blue screen pop up with a couple of different options. And what we wanna do is we wanna navigate over to Troubleshoot and then go to Advanced Options. Then you wanna to go to UEFI Firmware Settings, and then it's gonna pop up and say Restart again, so you wanna click on that. And what it's doing at this point is gonna restart into your BIOS where you're gonna make these changes. So here we are into our BIOS settings. And again, this might look a little bit different. If you have MSI, it'll look very similar. If not, you just wanna find these settings, where whatever it looks like on your screen. You wanna start by going over to the settings. Have a mouse, you can click on that, or you can also toggle through the options with your keyboard, whichever works best for you. So you're gonna click on your settings. And if you don't see secure boot right away, you might need to go to advanced options or security. Again, it's gonna vary on your manufacturer or your motherboard. If you don't see it right away, you can also do a Google search for your exact motherboard, which will say up somewhere on the screen there and see exactly where these settings are within your menu. So in my case, I'm gonna to go to advanced. I'm gonna to go to Windows OS configuration. Then we're gonna to go to secure boot. So you're gonna come in here and then under secure boot, boot, you're going to see it says disabled. You want to click on that and switch it to enabled. Now, when you do that, you may see a screen pop up that says that your secure boot mode needs to be switched to standard. So you'll just do that here. And then once all of that is set, you just want to X out of that. It's going to ask you if you want to save the changes. You do. Click yes. And once again, it's going to reboot your computer for a final time. And once your computer finishes booting up, we're just gonna go back to system information, which should be in your recent searches. And once that opens up, you're gonna scroll down to, once again, to secure boot state, and that should say on. And at that point, you have your secure boot enabled, and I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.